everybody. This is Banana Fish. Thank you for joining me today. Um, recently, I've been getting a lot of comments and questions about what do I do for breakfast in, in Japan. When I do have time to cook for myself, this is generally uh, what I do. And it's not it's not all exclusively Japanese food. It's more of a fusion. I've got a kind of a mix of Japanese and Western style uh, in my typical breakfast. So first, one of the most essential devices that you need in a Japanese kitchen is, of course, the rice cooker. It's beautiful, isn't it? Now, these things you can get at recycle shops at a fairly reasonable price. If you get them new, they can be kind of expensive. Uh, they'll cost you around the equivalent of like a hundred bucks. But if you go to a recycle shop, you can find them for like 2,000 yen, 3,000 yen. But before we get to that, we're going to make our natto toast, uh, which even for Japanese people seems a little weird. There's a thing here, it's a typical breakfast food. It's called natto. It's this stuff right here. It's a fermented soybeans. Fermented soybeans. Uh, have a very strong smell. It kind of resembles like dirty socks. Also the texture as you'll see here, not the most appetizing looking thing. But it's kind of an acquired taste. You know, it's supposed to be really healthy and if you do get a taste for it, it can get quite addicting. Anyway, uh, in the natto pack, generally you have uh, a pack of soy sauce, this stuff, and uh, karashi, uh, which is what I already put on there. Karashi is uh, like a spicy mustard, uh, and it gives it a little zing, so. So we're just gonna mix this up real good, and you can start to see that texture I was talking about. It gets really stringy, kind of like a mucus, so. Doesn't look that great, but uh, for me, it, it took a couple tries before uh, I could actually enjoy it. Right, so now we're gonna get our bread. When you buy Japanese bread at the uh, supermarket, it looks kinda like this, not too different from home. And they got different thicknesses you can get. I generally stick to medium uh, thickness, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put that good stuff right here, and we're gonna put it on top of our bread. You gotta kinda do this move to get the, <laughs> to get that stringiness off of it before you put it away. If this stuff gets stuck on your hands, man, that smell's gonna stay on you for a while, so you gotta be careful. Anyway, I'm gonna spread it on our bread like this. Make sure it gets all over there. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna get our sliced cheese. Uh, yes, they do have cheese here in Japan. Um, no, not as many varieties uh, as they, they have in America, but you gotta do with what you got. Put it on top of the natto and we're gonna put that in our, well, I don't really have a toaster in my kitchen. Uh, my gas stove, I have this uh, slot for you to cook the fish. Uh, and I found that uh, it works just as well as a toaster, so that's what we're gonna use it for today. And that's what I generally use it for anyway. Now, while that's toasting, we're gonna get our morning cup of coffee ready. Go. I look good, huh? Yeah. Next, we are going to prepare our bowl of rice. Next, we're going to get one of my favorite parts of breakfast uh, is this stuff right here. This is called tarako, uh, which in English is like a pollock roe. Usually, I get the mint taiko, which is the same thing, but it's just a little bit spicier. They, they add a kind of like a chili spice to this. The ones that I got here are a little bit too big, so I'm just gonna cut it in half. And you just place that right on top of your rice right there. All right, so we got our rice, we got our toast. Next, we are gonna do some miso soup. Because rice and miso soup is a typical Japanese uh, breakfast. Uh, I don't make miso soup from scratch. I'm actually not really good at cooking, but what you can find in the supermarkets are these uh, little packs, they look like this. Um, and they're just a single serving of miso soup. All you have to do is add hot water. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this stuff, it's got everything, it's got the seaweed and everything already mixed up in it. It's really convenient. Nice. And just to finish it off, I know what you're thinking, all this is looking very Japanese right now. Uh, to put a little Western spin on it, we're gonna add some little bit of yogurt on the side, and of course, you cannot forget your banana. 
Well, there you have it. This is uh, what my typical breakfast, when I do have time to make breakfast for myself, this is generally what I do. A lot of people, when they when they first come to Japan, everything's all new and exciting, and of course, you try all the different things that you can. After a while, after your first year or so, you start to crave some of the things that aren't readily available to you. For example, you know, when I when I go back to the States to visit my family, first thing I do is I, I go to the grocery and I try to find some some nice bacon, or, or like a Mexican restaurant, really hard to find a really good Mexican restaurant here as well, but you know, if you're planning on staying for the long run, it's really important that you do remain open. You know, it's like it's like the old cliche goes, when in Rome, you gotta eat with Romans eat, you know? <laughs> Can I show you something? Just stay right there. You see this? You see this right here? This is Japanese bacon. Look, look at it. Get a, get a, get a, get a, get a, get a good look at this, okay? Ah! Yeah! Look at this! Does that look like bacon to you? Does this look like bacon? This is not fucking bacon! This is not bacon! It's not fucking bacon. Look at this. Look at this shit! It's not, it's not fucking bacon! Come here. Let's cook this. Let's cook. I got something to cook for you. Look at this. Look at this garbage. Here, come here. Look at this. I'm gonna put it in. Look. Does it look like bacon to you? It's garbage. <laughs> look at it. Do you see it? Look. Look. It's not even. It's sliced ham. This is sliced ham. This is not what bacon is supposed to, to, to look like! Why can't they figure it out? Why can't they figure out what bacon is? I mean, you think there'd be enough people who went abroad and actually had what real bacon is and to bring it back and tell everybody, hey, look, bacon that we have is a fucking lie. It's not real. And that they have over there is just, and it's amazing. But this, this is what they get. You can't get anything but this. This is the only thing they get. This is what they get. And they love it. They. They, they love it. You get it in everything. You, you go, if you go to, to McDonald's and you say, I want a, I want a, I want a the sandwich, I want a hamburger with the bacon on this, you put this shit on it. They put this on it. It's not what I want. It's not what I want. It's not what anybody, who wants it? Nobody wants, I mean, who, I mean, they're, oh, it's Japanese, you know, Japanese, uh, Japanese tastes are different from America. How are you going to know if you don't like it if you don't even try it, you know? Let them try it. Give them some real bacon, and then we'll see what happens. See who has the bacon. Who's who's going to be the bacon champion? Then you know. Then and and then I get to have my bacon, and everything will be fine. It's just, it's not that hard. What is this even a pig? Like what is this? This is it. I don't want this. I don't want this. 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 This.